Welcome to another video at Chinta's YouTube channel. Today we will be talking about a very beautiful book. If you are preparing for mathematical olympiads or ISI CMI entrances, this particular book will be very useful for you. It's a classic. It's called Kreshmar's A Problem Book in Algebra. Those of you who have seen these videos in our YouTube channel and all the books that I have talked about here, you know that Russian books really excite my imagination. Uh, sometimes I think that how that atmosphere of mathematical problem solving must have been where these kind of problems were solved and books like this were produced. So let's look into this particular book and see the content. Okay, So it's a very typical Russian problem book. It's translated into English, of course, and it's freely available online, but you can also get a Indian version, a printed version of it, if you are in India, because the, this book has been reprinted by many, many uh, companies. Basically, each section is a collection of problems and then there is a solution section. So you start with a problem section and then we start with a solution section. This is typically how Chinta Math Olympiad programs are also designed. You start with a problem and then you talk about the related concepts and then you come back to the problem again. The problem acts as the magnet. It is the center point. It motivates. It, 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 it leads to imagination and stuff like that. So uh, let's look at some of these sections. We have rational expressions, rational fractions. Then there is some intermingling of trigonometry and algebra. Then first degree equations, second degree equations, some interminglings with complex numbers and polynomials and uh, progressions and sums, inequalities, mathematical induction. And finally, curiously enough, there is a section on limits. So it will send you to the edge of calculus. It's very Renaissance styled in some sense. And uh, those of you who have been doing Olympiad algebra or ISI CMI entrance algebra for some time, you will readily recognize some of these problems. It's a huge book. It is a 500 page book. And pro I promise you this, that if you do this book entirely, you'll be a master of all of these skills. So let's look at some of these problems. They will be familiar because you will, you would have seen these things in some of the Olympiads or ISI CMI entrances. So for example, this identity you just begin with the very, very important identity a squared plus b squared times x squared plus y squared written as a sum of two squares. I can tell you for sure numerous, numerous Olympiad problems have been motivated by this single identity. It's like the opposite it's the opposite of factorization. You take a product, you take a product, a product of two factors, and you split it as a sum. It's a product to some formula in some sense. Okay? So this, you will see similar examples, other examples from the equalities. You can deduce some inequalities and deduce some other inequalities and so on. So, for example, if you look at this one, Prove that from the equalities, a1 squared plus a2 squared up to a n squared equal to 1, b1 squared plus b2 squared up to b n squared equal to 1, this inequality follows. So those of you who have been doing inequalities in mathematical Olympiads, you are very familiar with this. This is the seed of the cauchy schwarz inequality, right? So there are many many more such problems here each of them are highly potent potent means you should start working on each of them on your own do not look at the solution which are provided at the end of each section 
and remember that each problem has a greater purpose. So if you are able to solve this problem in some other section, some other bigger theorem can be solved. Okay. So this is just the first section. Uh, there are seven, eight sections as I mentioned at the very beginning. And I just scroll down and show you that the second section is on rational fractions. It's nothing like you would sort of expect from a fractions section or a chapter in a general CBSC, ICSC or IB board or West Bengal board book. It's, it's, it's significantly more challenging. So for example, look at this expression. Oh my God, this is so big. Isn't it? <laughs> so you, you, you can spend hours and hours and hours on this particular problem set. Uh, this one, for example, number four, I readily remember there are several problems built out of this single problem. Uh, when we make problems for IUQM in our mock test series or ISISAMI entrance mock tests, this is the place where we go to. This is one of the places where we go to. It's a problem book for algebra. We have a similar problem books for geometry and number theory and combinatorics and so on. Maybe I'll talk, to, talk about them in some other videos. But I'll tell you one more thing. that These are the sources that the problem makers from different Olympiads and ISICMI entrances and step, they are sort of relying on these problem sources. I'm not saying that they're not making new problems. I'm just saying that this is a very powerful source of that. So I hope you liked this video uh, and this was informative for you. Make sure to start with the problem. Do not look at the solution unless you look at it for a hint and keep on doing good mathematics. I will see you in the next one.